Oh look, a harmless VR headset. Welcome! Do you like the circus? Sure, I love the circus. Well, what if I told you that you can never leave? <laughs> Wait, no. Sucks to be you! Oh, you're gonna hate it here. No, no! <laughs> Come on, Bellows, just one VR game? No, Hunter, setting up VR is hell. Hell, you say? Well, that's a funny word. You, what is that thing? Why is it smiling? You're never fully dressed without one. Ah, well. I'm freaking terrified. <laughs> yes, I've always wanted to try to voice Alistair. Man, I love all these shows. Doesn't matter what studio makes it, the shows are awesome. And on the topic of that, what did you guys think of that dub? Pretty funny, right? And why is that? Because there's a personality behind the voices. Granted, they're just impressions, but it's still someone doing them. It's me. Now, how funny would it have been if it was just some robot trying to replicate what they sounded like? Because now there's no actual actor who's trying to put the joke in the joke. Like, put the personality into the character. It's just some person with a bot trying to replicate those characters, throwing it online, and wanting to get monetization money from it. Here's a question, would you watch The Owl House Abridged if every character in it except for like two was just an AI voice? You wouldn't, right? Because then the whole cast would just feel dead. And the reason why is because there would be no cast, it's just some robot. But come on, that's just the surface stuff. Most people know about that. No, 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 we need to talk about the main issue with this. And this was really brought to my attention yesterday with a little show I'm sure a lot of you have heard of called The Amazing Digital Circus. It was an amazing pilot that released not too long ago on YouTube with a fantastic cast of characters. Such a fantastic cast that someone on YouTube decided it would be a fantastic idea to just steal two of those voices. I don't know the name of the YouTuber that did it, but I do know that what Whatever game that they were playing had skins of characters from the Amazing Digital Circus, specifically Jackson Kane. This person decided it would be a great idea to perfectly replicate, perfectly replicate, these two voices in the video, which is terrifying. Like imagine hearing a perfect copy of your voice saying things that you'd probably never say. That would be pretty violating, would it not? And clearly, I'm not alone in that opinion, because Michael Kovac, who's one of my idols, and he's the voice of Jax in Digital Circus, tweeted this out. Please do not AI synthesize my voice. I've been very lax about it up until now because it's never sounded good, but I just found a VR chat role-playing video that genuinely sounds exactly like me with minimal artifacting. It actually made me feel genuine fear. Genuine fear, people! He commented on the actual YouTube video as well. Here's the full comment on screen so you can pause and read the whole thing if you'd like. But basically, he says that that nowhere in the video it points out that there are AI voices present. At all. Like, not a single mention. Plus, he does not consent to having his voice cloned. After that, he requests that the YouTuber just takes down the video, or at the least demonetizes it, because it's just disrespectful. Spoiler alert! That didn't happen. So the voice of Kane, Alex Rockon, showed up, and he also commented. He said, hey look, someone ignored this tweet. Please do not clone my voice, or anyone else's, with AI for any reason. Thank you. The tweet in question was one where he just said that he does not consent sent to his voice being used for AI cloning before the pilot even came out. Even Gooseworks, the creator of this pilot, came forward to say be sure to respect the boundaries of the actors. Now the YouTuber in question that did this should just delete those videos, right? That's what you think is a good idea? Well, that's not what they did. Instead, they responded directly and said, I hear where you're coming from, but no. With that, they turned off the comments on their videos, and now I'm pretty sure that the videos are just gone. They're permanently deleted, you can't find them anywhere. So that's a win, right? Time to celebrate? Well, not quite. It's just one case. For a show that I'm sure a few of you at least haven't even heard of before, but I know one that I know you guys have heard of before. The Owl House, one of the big shows that I cover on the channel, doing the abridged series for and everything. If any of you Owl House fans are on TikTok, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People are constantly grabbing the voices of the Owl House cast and making them sing random songs all over TikTok. That's why I made the We Don't Talk About Bello song, because I saw so many covers and was just like, stop listening to this. Here's a real version with real people behind the voices. Not to mention that the cast has gone on record multiple times saying separately that they do not support their voices being used for AI. They don't consent to it, they don't like it. But does that stop the wonderful people of TikTok? No, of course not. And some of us in the fandom, yeah, we're not safe either. A few months ago, my friend Jake Neutron released a song for the Owl House called Make Believe, where I was king and Sidney Osmond voiced the collector. If you haven't heard of it, what are you doing? But not too long ago, I was scrolling through TikTok and I found something disgusting. Someone cloned Frida Wolf's voice, the actual voice actress for the collector in the show, and put it over Sidney's voice in the actual song. So in total, you have now disrespected two actors at the same time, just completely ignoring Sidney's amazing 
using work in the actual song, and then also cloning a voice actress from the show without their permission. Like, wow, this annoyed me, and I was just shocked that someone thought it would be a good idea. So as someone who's trying to become a voice actor, this is worrying. I know my content is always real happy and go lucky, but there just had to be one time where I addressed this, because it really needs to be talked about. So this is a message for all the fandoms that watch my channel. If an actor says that they do not give their consent to have their voice cloned, do not use AI to clone their voice. And I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again on YouTube, because I've never said it on this platform specifically. I do not give anyone consent to ever clone my voice. Always respect the actor's wishes first. With all that being said, here's some fun news to close off the video. Every once in a while, I may throw up like a mini-dub of one of these shows. Cause come on, they're amazing shows! But that's just a small little addition. The Owl House of Bridge will continue on as usual, with many new episodes coming soon. Thank you all for watching this, and hey, Michael and Alex, if any of you guys happen upon this video, just know that we stand with you. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tomoda Sauce out!